there's nothing in British rugby to equal an England versus Scotland match at Twickenham. And even the Prime Minister is out in the middle to greet the players. He's of Scottish-American descent, so it's anybody's guess which side he supports. The great ground is packed. 70,000 rugby fans keyed up to see the game of the season. England in white playing left to right against a very strong wind. Captain of England is fly half Richard Sharp, whose rare genius is the finest thing that's happened to English rugby since long before the war. Will the Scots allow him enough room to be a match winner today? Not if they can help it. And it's Scotland who's score first. Ron Glasgow makes the touchdown. Scrum half Stanley Coftry takes the kick and Scotland are five points up. What a boost that is for these tough players from over the border. A goal in the lead in the opening minutes. The thing to do with an early lead is enlarge it. And that's just what the Scots do. The ball goes to their skipper, Ken Scotland. He drops a beautiful goal. England, nil, Scotland, eight. Sharp and his men have simply got to fight back. Drake Lee is over the line, but it's as far out as can be. Can even John Wilcox convert from that angle? Yes, it's there, a super goal. England only three points behind at half time. And as Scotland kick off in the resumption, it's their turn to play into the wind. What a game this is. The real rugby we've been waiting for for so long. From the scrum, the ball goes too sharp. The rest is something that only he could achieve. It's eight points all. Wilcox converts. England lead. Scotland try hard, but the English defence holds up. That's all. Victory for England, 10-8. For years, we shall talk about Sharp's wonder try.